Hey Mike, did you see that Lightroom just launched an assisted culling feature? Yeah, but it's annoying because you have to import all of your images into Lightroom for it to work. And why is that so bad? Well, let's say I take 3000 plus images at a wedding. If I imported all of those raw files into Lightroom and created previews, that would take up so much space and Lightroom is notoriously slow as it is. But you can use the assisted culling features in the import tab. As far as I can see, the only options that you have to cull images are subject focus and eyes open. And the detection isn't even that good anyway. At least when you compare it to Aftershoot, with Aftershoot, you can choose an approximate number of images that you want in the final gallery, and it groups duplicates together, which saves you so much time. Trust me, the sharpest image isn't always the best, and Aftershoot knows that. Plus, Aftershoot never makes creative decisions, so if you take an intentionally blurry photo, it will keep it in there because it's a one of a kind. And also, Aftershoot have a one-click cull and edit button, so you can see what the photos will look like after they're edited. If you're really serious about speeding up your culling time, head to the link in my bio for a free trial of Aftershoot. Plus, you can get 15% off any plan with the code Mike 15. Yes, I know I'm an Aftershoot ambassador, but it truly is a superior software, especially for wedding and portrait photographers. Lightroom culling might work if you're taking a few landscape photos and comparing the sharpness, but for weddings, Aftershoot is a must.